Good everyone. Sway here. I have Zai's rail. I have his rail in my hands. And I'm really excited to use it. I've refrained from watching people's reviews because I want to experience it firsthand. And I don't think I'm going to like it too much. Who knows? Wow. Uh, hey again. I did not think I would be making this video. Or this this sort of video. This uh, I did not think this video would be going in the direction that it's about to be going. Um, Zai's rail is crazy. I, I did this, I did the whole, the whole Always Sunny bit thinking that I'd be like, ah, just kidding, this isn't my main, I don't really like it, it's my, uh-uh. I, everything is thrown, uh, everything is messed up, I, I don't understand. This mouse is kind of insane. It, it's, it's really, it, I don't, it, it's so weird. Let me, alright, first I'm going to say the two things I don't like first. I'm going to get that out of the way real quick, Rocket Jump Ninja, if you're watching. Um, I am a Rocket Jump Ninja pilled now, but let me, let me tell you what I don't like. Um, it's quite a bit forward heavy. Quite a bit forward heavy. The weight balance is quite a bit forward heavy. I just said that like three times. It's very late. You have to hold it like, uh, it's like right here. So it's like quite a bit past the sensor where the weight is balanced. Um, how can I say this? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it too much. It, it's, it's, it, I, I like the more balanced feel of weight distribution. Um, I'm hard pressed to say that the RGB I don't think the RGB made a difference, but because it is a bit front heavy, I feel like the mouse would be better without it. So yeah, front heavy. And the other thing I don't like is um, the the holes on the right side. You don't see because I already grip taped it, but um, they're like, it's cut out for your pinky and ring finger to sit in a, a certain spot. I hate it because all right, I play a very aggressive fingertip. Here, how do I grip this mouse? Like this, this is how I grip it. Yeah, and um, when I do this, my my pinky and ring finger slide a bit, the tiniest bit, and uh, I would touch the holes on the side, and it's like, why? Don't do that. No holes on the side anymore. Come on. It's 2021. Other than that, wow, I'm really blown away, and I'm ready to talk about this mouse. So I first plugged it in right after I made that, that video, that intro part of the video, and I hopped into Kovacs and it wasn't anything special. It didn't feel special. I was like, wow, this is very comfortable fingertip shape, but nothing special. I was like, eh, I'll try it again tomorrow. And then I had some uh, Titanfall tournament stuff and some important matches. So I was on the Team Wolf Lurker because this is a mouse I was using for the last however long, ever since I got it. Sorry, there's a lot of cat hair on my desk. And uh, I performed pretty decently well. And I was happy. And I like this mouse. The shape is really crazy. Um, it's it's a shit mouse. I wouldn't recommend it to people, but I fucking love the shape. So I use it. It's really short and stubby, and it's an egg, and I like it. Um, now, whenever I use the Hot ES, it's just wildly uncomfortable now. It, I I can't I can't fingertip the Hot ES anymore I, it, to be as comfortable. There's just something about the way it like goes in at the middle a little bit that I just really dislike. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna get it off the table. We're not even talking about the Hot ES today. I love the Hot ES. So Hot ES is based, but um, so then when I was using it, it, it really um, it's between these two now. But I didn't think it would be. So after I did after my whole like oh it's comfortable, but I don't know if it's that that amazing. After I had that whole take, I um I went and played with it again, and oh my god, I just started destroying people. I really don't understand. And I, I, I thought about it, and I really, really thought about the shape and how I grip it. And I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that I am, like, extremely comfortable when I use this mouse. It is like, it is like the claw mouse of fingertip mice. 
if that makes any sense. Because your fingers really just get locked in. The thing about this mouse is it was designed to be a fingertip shape. My fingers are like locked in and my aggressive fingertip works really well. And it's just like, wow, like it's sturdy. But when I want something like the Egg or the Hadi S, the Hadi S specifically was, I mean, there's a Hadi M, right? So to a certain degree, they got a bigger mouse and they shrunk it. And, and, that, and that's what it is. You're just, you're... You use the mouse, and the people that love it are probably just really lucky that it fits their hands really well. And I thought it had fit my hand really well for a while, and I was using it a lot, and I loved it. But um, if you think about it, it is a bigger mouse shrunk down. And if it works for you, it works for you. But, but this mouse was made to be used for fingertip, and it was made to be this size. This mouse, I'm a bit more iffy on the design principle. I think it's just supposed to be weird as fuck in an egg. And somehow it works for me, but um, I think gripping it, while, while I do feel super precise and I really like the shape, I think I, think I have to be too aggressive. Like, I, I have to like be like locked in and my fingers have to kind of like squeeze a little bit. And even when I'm like gripping lightly, it feels like there's a bit of tightness. So let's get that, let's, let's get that shit off the desk too. This mouse, oh my god. I can just be really, really relaxed. It's hard to explain until you put it in your hands. And I saw Rocket Jump Ninja put something on Twitter. Some Someone, I forget if he was responding to someone that didn't like the mouse. Sorry, my mic was kind of far from me the whole time. I hope that didn't destroy the whole video. Um, and he was like, why don't you try gripping it like further up? And I noticed I already, I already do get grip kind of further up, like where he was talking about. So maybe that's why I do like it so much. But if you don't like this mouse, you're probably a claw player or you haven't... No, I'm not going to say that. There's there's some people that probably won't like it even if they grip how it was meant to be gripped. But I don't think it's a good... I, I, I cannot claw it comfortably at all. I feel like you could have made the mouse shorter and not have like tried to cater for claw people. But somehow it works in fingertip's favor for it to be this long. I don't really understand why. Especially now that I've used stuff like this, and I know that this is a great shape for fingertip, and HSK as well. It's like, why do I need the back anymore for? But somehow it just works. It just, it just like cradles. It just cradles you. You know what I'm saying? I don't really get it. Maybe I should like... I need to go, go to the mountains and bring mice with me and just study their shapes and, and lighten myself so I can like articulate this better. Because it really is hard to explain. But um, this mouse feels amazing in hand. I've talked about like nothing this whole time. So let me just start going into like, all right, the software, there is no software. Really, really based. I love it. I'd never want to touch software again. The way this mouse does it is insane. You have your little dials. There's a, ExtraFi has a video on their channel telling you how to set anything up, uh, set everything up. But there's like switches and you can change everything. RGB, um, pulling rate, lift off distance, uh, um, DPI, literally everything. You can change everything just by pressing stuff on the mouse. And I think it's amazing. It was flawless, really quick, easy to do. And then you set it to the F11 mode, which, um, oh, why is it on the RGB one? You yeah. yeah, you set it to the F11 mode and then this button becomes F11, which is really cool. So now this button right here is just a button and you can use it for stuff in game. I don't know why I clicked on the RGB one, but um, yeah. So if you want to rebind that, you can, which I think is really great too, because I usually end up rebinding that button in uh, softwares, and now you don't have to do that. I, I thought it was flawless. I never want to touch uh, softwares again. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Side buttons. They feel extremely quality. If you're a Fortnite player, I think you'd like this. Like They're so good, especially the mouse 4. The mouse 5, I don't know. If you, if you play fingertip, you shouldn't really be using... like your mouse buttons too much, but like it feels really crisp. They're like a nice size. They're like nothing I've ever used before, honestly. I can't even compare them to anything. Yeah, like none of the mice that I have on my desk right now, like the XM1, nothing like it. Hot ES, nothing like it. Team of Lurkers, shitty side buttons, nothing like it. Zowie, nothing like it. I, I really, they're really nice. I like them. They might be my favorite side buttons. And uh, I, I, I think I should say I have not watched a single person's review on this mouse yet because I really wanted to come in fresh and I really just want to like put my everything into playing with it and encompassing myself around it. And yeah, so the side buttons I like a lot. Clicks, pretty immaculate. 
I don't know. Uh, what what is it? GM Kel GM eight point oh's really good. Scroll wheel. It's really fast. I like it. The steps are super quick. And uh, the coating feels actually spectacular. It's probably my favorite base coating ever. I never thought I'd say that because I hate a lot of base coatings. Like, Team of Lurkers coating is so bad that I have lizard skins on the M1 and M2. And I usually don't do that. But um, if there's anything I can take from using this mouse, it's that it is um, tied with the XM1R for the best stock experience, in my opinion. And stock experience is now something that is really important to me when I review things because no one in the world, I, I really think like nobody that watched my Team Wolf Lurker review got a Team Wolf Lurker because it's a shit mouse, even though I love it. But I think a lot of people that are watching this review, if you haven't bought this mouse, you should buy this mouse. Because it is, I think the XM1R is probably a little better stock. But um, the cable, it, it's it's not great, but I don't know why bad cables don't bother me anymore. Like if you grab from out here, it moves a little bit. If you grab from here, it moves a lot. But I, I don't mind it anymore. I don't know what happened to me. I used to like only like wireless mice like at the start of my journey and now I don't even care about cables like I can just play and I really don't feel it I don't know what happened but this cable is good enough for me I think it's um one of the better stock cables I've ever used yeah definitely hi kitty hi um so yeah I, I this mouse is an easy recommend and this mouse specifically I think is Probably the best mouse for claw and palm players that want to try fingertip. I thought she'd jump on my lap, but she's not. Um, if you've never tried fingertip and you want a mouse to do it, this is the one. And I say that because it the shape like locks you in. The, the comfort grooves on the mouse one and mouse two, they just get you in there. And there's a bit of a curvature on the sides that, um, I don't know, it just makes gripping feel really nice and you can do like whatever this type of fingertip is called when it's like more straight or you can play an aggressive fingertip like me and they both work so this is like a really versatile fingertip mouse and i think it is the best option if you want to try learning fingertip because it's it's good stock you don't need to do anything to it even the even the mouse feet are good this is the Hyatt Co. They're fucking shredding on this thing. It feels like Corpad style. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it, they're good. Like, what the? I did not expect this. Is this my first Extra Fi mouse? This is my first Extra Fi mouse, so I don't know if all of their <laughs> mouse feet are this good. I, I honestly, the more I review things, the less I'm watching other people's reviews. Like, uh, I, I, love, I have a lot of friends that review stuff, so, like, I'll watch a bit of their videos and hit like and, like, listen to their jokes and stuff, but... Um, especially mice that I'm gonna try I try my best not to watch anyone's stuff so I can like come into it fresh and I'm glad I do because wow I I'm happy that I didn't have anyone's opinion to like cloud my mind with this but like this mouse I'm in love I didn't think I'd say that I really didn't think I'd be maining this but I hit some crazy PVs in Kovacs and I know Kovacs doesn't mean much but to me there's just like a bit of um comfort Hey, stop messing with my blind. There's a bit of, um, I don't even know what to say. Like, affirmation? No. I just, like, I kind of, you. when you review mice, enough mice, you just kind of get it when a mouse is good for you. You just kind of, like, know. And Kovacs is a good litmus test. That's what I should have said. Kovacs is a great litmus test for new mice. And this mouse passed the test. But, um... The more I think about it, I think I like this mouse because of how comfortable it is to fingertip. Initially, I didn't think I was going to like it as much. Like that first day of Kovacs, I told you guys. when um, no, I didn't think I was going to like it as much. Because it doesn't... I didn't feel as... um. As like... Honed the heck in is when I was holding my egg. You know, when I'm holding my team with Lurker, it's like... Like you feel like you're... You're holding like a really sharp little little uh, exacto knife or something, and then you're holding this one and it feels like a like a I don't know like a really good Japanese kitchen knife. You know, it just feels a little feels a tiny bit bigger. You can kind of like feel the weight of it, and I thought it would be a bad thing, but it's not. 
It's not. It really is not. And I couldn't be more happy. Is there anything I forgot to talk about? Like, like actual mouse wise, um, construction. Yeah, I feel no creaking. No side flex. Yeah, no top bottom flex. Uh, I, I didn't go too hard because I don't want to break it because I really like it. <laughs> but it's a sturdy mouse. It is built well. It performs well for me. Um, the sensor placement is decent enough. I think it's fine actually. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not too much of a stickler for sensor placement. But um, more than anything lately, I really prefer. Oh, I really put a lot of uh, weight into shape and click feel. And both are insane. And I really like this mouse. I, this is baby's first fingertip mouse. I, I swear to God, this is what's going to get a lot of people into that grip. And um, if you've watched me, you know that I, I, I don't know. I can't even, like, force my... I wish I could claw really comfortably now so that I could, like, play the XM1R. Because, like, look at that. Like, this mouse is so sick. But um, I just can't bring myself to claw anymore. I really don't know what's in my brain. And I've never really... I was a palm gripper at one point, and I don't understand because I cannot palm grip any mouse comfortably anymore. I literally can only play at my best at fingertip, and I play at my best with this mouse right now. I hit. I, I, I don't understand. I, I was just... You know what I think it is? I think I'm so comfortable when I use this mouse that it edges out anything that like the HSK or the M1K could give me because the comfort lets me lock in, and it lets me just like let my body do things. I think it's really important to like throw your mind away and like just trust your body and let it let it do its thing. And it's a lot easier when you're comfortable. Now I'm just going to keep rambling about aim and stuff if I don't stop myself. So get this mouse. This mouse is super good. Um, it's nighttime right now. I'll probably upload this in the morning so more people can like see it during the first few hours. And after I upload it, I'll probably be streaming. If you want to see me play with this, I'll probably play an Apex. Um, Wow, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Maybe I'll make a second video about it soon because I haven't had much time with it, but I'm already in love with it. So, um, yeah. Skypad review coming soon, I guess. Sorry, I've been <laughs> kind of not making too much content. I just, like... I'm, like, really in an improvement kick, and I'm, I'm getting close to Masters and Apex, so we're working on that. Um, I also got some new planars. Hi-Fi Men, what are the H-E-X-4? I don't know. Batsy Tech made a video, shout out Batsy Tech, and I instantly coughed because I've been wanting some uh, some planar cans for a while after I got the tin P1s. But where I'm going with that, I might make a, a video on audio soon just because I'm like new into that sphere and that's interesting me as well. So um, yeah, moral of the story, um, Zai's Rail, very based. I look forward to any other shape he makes. It, it, really, 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 really happy. I'm surprised. I didn't think I would like it. It does look a little, it does look a little wonky, you know? And um, the weight balance instantly threw me off. It's very forward heavy. I thought it was going to be shit. And then I just used it and it's just really good. Really, really good. Try it out, please. If you wanted like all the technical information, you're obviously at the wrong channel. I'm not someone that does like all the measurements and does all the shape comparisons. You, you guys have Bearded Bob and, and all the other dope reviewers out there to do that stuff for you. I'm, I mainly just like talk about my experience with the mouse. I know it's... It's more of a weird style, but hopefully that's a niche that works for you because it's different from everyone else. I don't know. I appreciate y'all. I guess I should stop talking and uh, let it rip. So, peace. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.